So on these S550s, we need to put 12 inch wide wheel on there. The only way we can do that is to get seven and a half inch backspacing. Well, seven and a half inch backspacing hits the lower knuckle here. Um, the only way we'd be able to clear that is to basically remove half of the knuckle. And you know, you can't remove half of that joint. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut them in front of this joint. We're gonna round this off, drill us a hole through here, and put us a half inch chromoly sleeve into this. Then we'll build an arm that will fasten to that sleeve with the two ears and attach to the chassis or the subframe up here with a heim joint. And that'll move this arm up and in far enough out of the way that it'll clear the wheel. You'll have some adjustability with the heim joint and it'll be just as strong as it was from the factory without this rubber bushing at the bottom anyways. And that should be able to get us a wheel under there. All right, what are you doing, Chris? I am failing miserably at welding on this piece. Failing miserably. so thick, I don't see there ever being any kind of question about it breaking. It's it. Yeah. Yeah. See if we did have that mill though, we could chuck this thing in there and mill that back around. That's the only thing. But. figure out what thread pitch this thing is. I believe it's M12 by 1.0, I'm not sure. And I'll probably spend the next three hours trying to find the thread checkers. Come back.
basically it's a really like rough design single adjustable right now we're gonna make this double adjustable um, so that you can adjust the toe but what the idea is is to move this mountain point up and out on the spindle knuckle whatever you want to refer to it as and uh, fabricate a new toe rod that's longer and moves up with it to give you clearance for a 15 inch wheel if you look at the factory one on the other side of the car you have this toe rod which is only adjustable with this eccentric washer up here and this is moved approximately two inches out and an inch down which uh and all of this interferes with a uh, 15 inch wheel with any amount of backspace that'll really work so what we're doing is we're moving this point from here out to here and it'll be you know have chromoly bushing um should work really well I'm trying to uh iron out all the little details with it right now and sourcing all the joints to make everything double adjustable everything will be chromoly tig welded um should work really well we're gonna beat on them at the track a little bit make sure it's safe make sure we can't break a set before we just throw them out there and let everybody have them but that's kind of the general idea and this is kind of just the proof of concept of it to make sure that it wasn't just going to blatantly fail and wasn't going to work right geometry works fine um as the suspension compresses this is fully full droop full extension um and you know it gets it gets fairly close there to that arm but as the suspension compresses these get further away so uh, there's plenty of clearance there there should be plenty of room to adjust it um, we're gonna do these square plates up here basically that's industry standard to uh get rid of the eccentric adjustment up here and make it a solid mounting location but that should be able to let you run a 15 inch wheel seven inch back spacing um should be able to clear a bead lock make these things a little more race car with uh with the irs i'm not a fan of the irs but something that some guys want to stick with and we want to help those guys get a 15 inch wheel on the back of the car without spending several thousand dollars on a knuckle and this is more this is more budget friendly i think you can install something like this on the driveway pretty easily yeah so that's the plan we've got to get some other parts ordered get some double adjustable heim joints coming um hopefully our cnc plasma table will show up in the next few days so i can stop trying to cut stuff out with a bandsaw and at this point we just reused the factory end because it was the easiest option without having a good way to cut it out but yeah i think that's about it this bolt here i don't know if you can see that in there this bolt here hits um, a 15 inch wheel with a like a drum brake hub so for testing purposes I just kind of smooth the corner of it out but we're going to include a button head bolt for that so it'll be an allen head probably do an allen head here and an allen head here just to keep it all the same and uh, give you extra clearance but overall I mean I think it's going to work out really well the aluminum around this is thicker than it was around where the factory bushing was so that should be plenty strong i don't see any issue with it so we'll get some more stuff coming and do a little more research and development on it and uh i said get out at the track and test it and see if we can break it with a 15 1600 horsepower car